Italiano? No. English. Hello, I'm Mackerel Phones. I'm playing Leaving Lindau. Don't know that much about this game. It's one of those first person exploration games. Let's start. Are we leaving home? Hmm? Oh, there we go. Wait. What the? Oh, here we are. Oh, we have those, uh... What are the... Is glass that's like that called? I don't remember. I have no shadow. But I do have a nice looking ornamental polished... Oh no, it's a shell! Ah, oh, I thought it was a gourd. Clara, that's me. Congratulations on your acceptance into the Guild of Scientific Exploration. You've been appointed junior marine researcher aboard a pioneering expedition into the Northern Seas. Wasn't there a movie that was sort of like that? About a noblewoman who... What was that movie called? Long Way North, maybe? In any case, okay. So we've got everything we need for our departure except the spare ship uniform and a book called Great Voyages. Or maybe just a monograph or something since it's in quotations and not italics. We look forward to learning of your discoveries. All eyes on the horizon. Okay, spare ship uniform and Great Voyages. Maybe I've already gotten them, honestly. Is that the uniform? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, uh... Book, right? Oh. Oh, I see. It's an icon for reading. It's actually just a missive. There once was a girl who stared at the sea and took notes on fancy anemones. She studied the water and chased down the otters. The girl researched many neat things. One day, the girl will sail out on her own in a big blue wooden ship that she calls her home. She'll go to new lands and sleep in the sands while she researches many neat things. Sorry for how terrible this poem is, but I still think it suits you. And instead of drawing a heart... Okay, so I guess that despite the odd font, he actually typed this. Well, I appreciate the gesture, Jacob. I wish you could come on the expedition with me. But it's not meant to be. So where's that book? Is that it? Oh, a fish. Oh, it's uh, color watercolors. I'm going to miss little cousin Toma. He's so sweet. Well, it's exciting to become a scientist, you know. We shouldn't be too sad about it. Oh, we have a window outside into our home, huh? This is a nice place. It reminds me of, like, the nicest vacation homes I've ever been in. Oh, there we go. Rather pretty down there. The windows look oddly fuzzy, honestly. Oh, is this Mom and Dad's room? I don't know what Clara's living arrangement is. Whoever lives here, they're probably a botanist. They have a green thumb. I'm a vampire. And I have no shadow. Maybe I'm a ghost like in Zorka Nemesis. Ah, maybe this is where that person ended up after a while. Could we have been Clara all along? I'm glad she's moved in, you know, up in the world to such a more pleasant place than those forbidden lands. What's this? Why is his mouth covered? I'm going to guess this is someone important to us. Maybe mouth covering like that's just a... Oh, it's Dad. Wonder if Dad would be proud of me. I don't know. I guess that that's just a customary covering for men in this country. Oh, is that the book? Great Voyages? 
The seas of the north are widely unexplored. Researchers predict these waters are expansive, and small expeditions have revealed numerous islands filled with diverse life and communities. Due to the unpredictable and violent nature of these waters, many exploration ships have been lost, huh? Well, as long as we don't end up like Captain Walton. I might not ever see this view again. It's beautiful out there. I mean, this is a lovely home and I'd be sad to miss it, but... I, you know, I guess the thing is, there's a lot of value in doing something meaningful with your life, you know? With helping people. And that's what scientists do. At least in theory. Guess many of them don't as do, honestly. What's this? Ah, the attic pool rod. Oh. Is there something we want to get out of the attic? Well, maybe just the past. So many books. Wonder if we've read all of them. Is there anything like me? No, actually, they haven't. If you, we've, we've probably read a few of them. I'm writing a final time to express my resentment at... maybe? I think it's... oh, that's weird, of this decision. Clara is still a child. Why are we letting her choose a path that might destroy both her and our family? If you really considered the risks of this expedition, are you even concerned for the safety of your own daughter? Stop her from doing this before it's too late. Concerned your br <laughs> He signs his name your brother? Weird guy. I mean, clearly he's a weird guy complaining like that. How you holding up, Mom? Oh, newspaper. Shadian? I guess we're on Shadia. So Lindau rebuilds. Oh, I guess we're in Lindau Shadia. Mudslide devastates buildings, but not spirits. So, um... After the port town was utterly destroyed in a mudslide, many citizens of Lindau relocated to Nava, seeking a quick recovery in an established locale. Despite this, some dedicated Lindosians <laughs> were reluctant to give up on their community and have instead devoted themselves to re-establishing the town of Lindau on drier, safer ground. With, this, with a new port in operation, trade is resumed and Lindau is well on its way to recovery. I'm glad. Can we take a roll? I love bread. <gasps> and I love garlic. I wouldn't say more. I guess we're a pretty well-off family, all things considered. How are you, Mom? I'm a two-a. I guess that's their language? She has big glassy eyes. I guess my mouth is probably covered too, huh? Good morning, dear. Made you this basket of treats to take on your trip. They won't last long, but I hope they remind you of home. Oh, and I remembered how sick you get on these canoes. I can only imagine what you'll be like on your expedition. I know we have bottles of seasickness reliever around here somewhere. Your father always needed it too. Would you go check in the attic? I don't want you to be sick all over your new friends. I'll take a look. You'll have to find that damned attic pool rod, of course. Don't worry, Mom. I already found it. She almost looks like she has fish eyes. Maybe it's just a peculiarity of the locals. Kind of like covering their mouths. That's just what we do around here. Good thing I found that attic pool rod, eh? Last time I went up into an attic... I was to find my beloved pet cat, and I was in the house of some murderous twins. Oh, it's an open-air attic. Hardly an attic at all. I just call this a loft. Maybe that was Dad's uniform. Oh, an easel. What all do we have here? Oh. Ginger and peppermint. Tasty. I hope I develop sea legs, but this will have to do in the meantime. All you can do is hope. Nah, we'll be fine. You will develop them. That's just kind of how it works, you know? Mom, I got it. Just want to let you know. I know how mums worry. And if you have a good mum, you don't want her worrying about you. Our room is so pretty. Hey, Mom. I'm so proud of you, dear. I can't believe this day has finally come. 
It's kind of hard to believe, isn't it? A little surreal to be leaving like this. But I guess that's what we're doing. We're leaving Lin Dao for a whole new life of... Discovery, if we're lucky, and not death. I'll get by with only what I've put in this trunk. Makes me wonder about why I have so much stuff in this room. You always feel that way when you pack. All packed. Dear room. So many memories. I'll be back. Don't forget me, man. You won't, man. I know you, Room. You're a good guy, Room. Why'd I walk down that backwards? It's not a ladder. It's, like, really dangerous. Oh, forest, I guess. Okay, bye, Mom! Need to clear my head. Yeah, don't want to have those negative thoughts when you're embarking on your trip. Oh, so there's town. Oh, the air is full of, uh, their seeds. I love it when you're walking places and you see seeds like that. Wonder who J and D are. Wish them all the best, wherever J and D might be now. They probably broke up. Most relationships don't last that long. Why would I want to leave a place this pretty? It doesn't even look like it'd be hot. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I love monarchs. Oh! Are we, like, around Mexico? Like, where the monarchs migrate to? Maybe. What the? Somebody live there? Is this their garden? I don't want to trample the flowers. Our hideout. Oh, our hideout. We might not be... What? It's just full of mud. Danger. Treasure hunters only. Oh, I get it. This must be from when we were kids. That's weird. It's still being maintained by who? The Wall of Treasures. Mostly just glass bottles. My experience on coasts... The sea glass tends to just be chunks of brightly colored glass. It's not normally whole bottles, but maybe they're just lucky around here. Here's that crazy drum we found in the forest. Oh, is it really particularly crazy? I mean, clearly people have lived here for a long time. wonder what that says and who wrote it. Oh, memories. Ranya was always a pretty good artist. Oh, is she a painter now? I guess it is comparatively good. It will be like Link, sailing the Great Sea to stop Ganondorf. I know that the trees in the distance are not detailed and it's probably a limitation of the graphical engine or something, but frankly, I like it better. It makes it feel like I'm looking at a impressionist painting or something. You think I can walk all the way there? I don't know. You can see the stars at this hour, huh? That's a little odd. It's pretty normal to see the moon at this hour, though. Wait, is there something on that tree stump? Oh, it, it reminds me, when I was a little kid, I would explore forests. I explored forests so much. And you would find weird stuff like this in them. This has been here for as long as I can remember. How many different songs has it sung? What do you mean? Oh! I thought it was like a broken piece of an organ. How did that song Dad taught me go again?
No way. No. There is no way in hell I'd be able to figure that out. I'd like to play it too. Oh! We're not on Earth. Maybe it's that planet from Final Fantasy IV. Oh, Cairn. Uh, lying down to look at the sky, huh? Have we done this a lot here, you th Oh, we're taking a nap. This is an odd dream. The other night I dreamed that the murder happened and I could have stopped and I could have solved it and caught the killer, but I didn't because I'm a coward. Maybe by the time this video is uploaded I won't be a coward. I'll probably still be a coward. But that kind of attitude is what keeps me as the irredeemable weakling I am. What am I saying? No, I'm not irredeemable. Are we gonna end up like this ship? I don't think so. Or are we dreaming of Dad's ship? Or is it really even any difference? Okay, so maybe we shouldn't have come here if we want to relax. I don't think it quite worked out that way. Damn, how long were we asleep? For all I know, this could be the next day. What oh, beautiful pink trees. Yeah? Oh, is this a hiking trail? Nava and Lindau, huh? Oh, this is the way to Nava. Spent so much time here as a kid. I'm not ready to move on just yet. You're not? Oh no, do I have to play Dad's song? No! No way! That'll take like an hour. Look, I don't mean to insult Dad or anything. I love him. But I have no musical ear for that kind of stuff. None. I find it incredible that people can even figure out just by listening to it what the beat of a song is. I feel like everyone around me can do that. I'll say, they'll put on music like, oh, this stuff follows a such and such beat. And I'll think, how in the universe could you possibly have figured that out? I think I might have to uh, figure out the pipes. No. Oh. No. Oh, come on. You're going to imprison yourself here just until you remember that stupid melody? Is that what you're going to do, Clara? I know it's important to you, Clara. I shouldn't speak of it in those terms. Yeah, that's the first note. Na, 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 That's it. Okay, with any luck, I'll never have to play music as long as I... Oh, Mom and Dad! 
This was the shell of just a baby one. The grown ones were huge, as big as you are, Clara. The entire beach was covered in these critters. It looked like the land itself was moving. What did that song have to do with the shell? I guess we've got both of them from Dad, huh? But when I explored a forest as a kid, you really would find things just around. Particularly deep in the forest, I remember finding a fire hydrant and a lamp post. Just way away from the road. In the wilderness between the road and this cliff that where there used to be a trail but it had been closed because of landslides. I took that trail anyway. All right, the farm. Why not? Change isn't always easy. It usually isn't, Clara. You should know that at your age. What the heck? Oh, they're not... It's because of the light of the foliage. It's causing the light to sort of dance across these flowers. They look so big and squishy. Like marshmallows. I'd probably be very disappointed if I touched one, though. Anyhow. Must be some of the harvest. Uncle? You in? No, he's not. Oh, here we go. It's an east shade. Uh, bloom sack, native to Lindau. Blossoms are filled with a mixture of air, viscous sap, and seeds. See, I wouldn't, that's not what I would hope for if I squeezed it. Upon reaching full size, blossoms fall to the ground, splitting the encasement and dispersing seeds. If harvested before fully ripened, a blossom will harden into a hollow sphere, allowing for use as a flotation device. That's odd, I would have thought they could almost make maracas with them. I mean, they're going to be full of, uh, seeds. Brother. Okay, so mom mom and uncle really do just address each other as brother and sister. Must be a cultural thing in Lindau. I understand your concerns and do not assume that I don't share them. However, I cannot su summon any sympathy for your behavior towards Clara. Does she really deserve the guilt you put upon her just as she reaches the biggest hurdle of her life? The choice is not mine or yours to make, and this decision doesn't affect you alone. Try to consider Clara's happiness for once. Think of what she is experiencing right now. You're only losing her proximity. You're only losing her proximity for a few years. Be careful that you don't also lose her love and trust. Thanks, Mom. I guess Uncle's out, though. Wish I could have a talk to with him. Never met anyone who likes Bloomsack tea more than Uncle. It's like me and Green Tea. Oh! Snooping around my house, huh? Clara? That's what he sounds like. More, not like this. More like this. Clara, wasn't expecting you so early. You haven't found anything interesting, I hope. Just some musty old books. Clara, I saw you reading the letter from your mother. The idea of you leaving us hasn't been easy for me to understand, and the fact that it's such a dangerous journey only makes it more confusing for me. Haven't you ever wanted to explore the world? Of course not. I have my place here, and there's plenty to do. Why would I sacrifice my safety for something completely unknown? Making discoveries is a reward in itself, I say, reciting platitudes. What about discovering a terrible disease? Even consider that you may not survive this. Expedition isn't doomed. You have no idea what this expedition will hold. You've read books at your academy. Perhaps you've heard some tales, but you don't know what you're doing. Just as your father didn't know what he was doing until it was too late. And now look where he is. At the bottom of the sea. And that's what he deserves for his recklessness. I'm sorry, Clara. I was uncalled for. You know I loved him dearly. Accidents can happen anywhere, man. Of course, I only worry that this will be the last time I'll see you. 
I wish I could convince you that life here is just as exciting as anywhere else, that there's really nothing so great about the rest of the world, but I see that you know your desires. I'll stay safe, Uncle. I hope you do, Clara. Send word to us when you can. We'll be thinking of you. Yeah, Uncle. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been snooping around your house. You're right. I guess I just kind of... I don't know what I assumed about you. He... He was blocking me just because he doesn't want me to end up like my dear father did. Hello, man. My dad says you're going to crash your boat in the ocean, and then you'll sink to the bottom. That won't happen. He says you don't even care if you sink. Has your captain never crashed in the ocean? Never! I only sail with the very best. Really? So you don't think you're going to die? I'll be back before you know it. Oh, well, that's Toma. Okay, but look. My boat's crashed in a storm and all the passengers fell overboard. Now they're lost at sea. Oh, that's unlucky. Should we rescue them? Yes. There are four passengers missing. We need to find them. What an inauspicious game for him to be playing right now. Oh, there's one. Just hit his dolls around. What, what the hell? Where are you, kid? Toma? Oh, I'll find him. I mean, the dolls. I mean, uh, the passengers, of course. When I was little, I accidentally stepped on a bloom sack sapling. Uncle didn't allow me back on the farm for a long time. Oh, they're making that. Ah! Hurry, they're dying! Oh, don't worry, man. Toma? I'm going as fast as I can, man. I mean, not really. And I could be running. But I'm not. No need. What the hell? Old shell pair? Yeah, I, I, I'll leave the shovel. I don't need this shovel. All shall perish, says young Toma. Don't worry, Toma. I'll play your silly little game. Oh, and there's the last one. They all survived. Thanks for helping me, Clara. A good captain doesn't leave anyone behind. Don't die, okay? I won't. Promise. See you later. I mean, that's the thing. I Truthfully, I don't think I'm going to die. I think I'll be fine. So we're like aliens, right? This clearly is an Earth. And the people here don't quite look like humans. Uncle? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were home earlier. I should have... You know, it was wrong of me to sort of snoop around like I did. I'm sorry, Uncle. Shall we go, Clara? The tea house. Just one last classic stop before I leave. My last goodbyes. If it's anything like the tea houses near where I live, they know me. Well, where mackerel phones means I live. Uh, lives, I mean. Yeah, they have that same kind of glass here. A lot of maybe familiar faces? It feels like everyone has a beard. Oh, they're blue eyes. Ah, here's the great explorer, making a farewells to all the lowly folk not clever enough to go on their own expeditions. I haven't known you to speak so unkindly, I assume. Kindness comes to me more slowly today. I truly thought that I would be picked for the expedition. All the tests, all those nights of research, the endless planning and preparing. I've never worked so hard in my life. How could it all be for nothing? I know I shouldn't dwell on it. You worked hard too. And you deserve this opportunity in the guild, my friend. You can always apply for the next journey. It's true, but I felt so confident about the exam we took. I was sure there was nothing I could do better. I know you'll get there. Thanks, Clara. Means a lot to know you think that. With any luck, I'll be setting off on my own journey by the time you come home. I hope so. Enjoy your journey. I know you're going to do an excellent job. Promotion after promotion, I'm sure. 
Thanks, Devfic. Guess that must be one of my peers, huh? Are you also from the class? Wait, are you a woman? Yeah. Clara, I can't believe the day is finally here. This is so exciting. The beginning of your new life as a great explorer. Think of it. In just three years, you might have discovered entire new civilizations. And imagine the advancements you'll make to... To science? I think I mean in science, but... She's uh, one of those awkward people who has a hard time maintaining eye contact. And she looks so sad. But yeah, you... You give me too much credit. Not at all. You've got what it takes to be a great explorer. They'll sing songs about you. I'm sure of it. I'll miss your utter confidence in me. Do you remember that fort we used to play in out in the forest? All your stuff's still out there, in remarkably good shape. Yes! I went out there last night. I was in the fort thinking about your expedition and all the amazing things you're going to see. And then I heard the most beautiful drumming. It sounded so triumphant. It was like the prelude to your life as an explorer. Look forward to telling you all about it. Me too. Come on, let's enjoy your final day. And remember to visit us once you become the greatest discoverer on the seas. How are we gonna... She invited me to... I mean, I'd like to drink tea with you, but I guess not. They all have such sad faces. Bloom sack tea. Unique taste of that one, wouldn't you say? What? I mean, I guess so. Yeah? Why did the colors change? Well, anyway. You're just some strangers, huh? Oh, but you're not. Hi, Clara. I hope I'm not crashing your celebrations. I want to depart with you as friends. Last time we met was too sad for such an exciting time in your life. You have very hairy arms, friend. I made this journal for you. I know how quickly you filled them and thought you could use an extra. I don't even have the option to reject it, so it doesn't really mean anything, but this will be very... it's beautiful. Remember when we first met? You were doing a study on anemones. You thought I was a lab underclassman and had me take notes for you on your findings. You were so enthusiastic about your work, even got me interested. I didn't tell you that I wasn't part of the program until you finished your study. I can't believe you stuck with the study. I never doubted you'd achieve your goals with the Academy. You're one of the most determined people I've ever met. I'm glad I had the chance to know you. We made a great team. We did. But now this is your adventure. There's no need to waste it by longing for the future or for other paths you could have taken. It's easy to see that this is your dream. I'm just glad to watch you set off to live it. Take care. Maybe our paths will cross again one day. I hope so. I just don't want to say goodbye. It has a sort of cruel finality to it. Wow, the streets are empty. Maybe people don't go outside much here. It could be a religious thing. Now, I shouldn't be nosy about all these strangers. I have some more tea. I never get just one brew. Shady and brew. Certainly. You okay? No, I'm sorry. I don't want to bother you. One more. Sesha. I've never seen someone drink tea so ambitiously. And I've been working here a while. Okay, I get it. The tea is like some... It's almost alcoholic to our alien systems, huh? Yeah, I don't want to get drunk this close before my departure. What the... I mean, there's a lot of dining and stuff going on here. What's this stuff? Oh, it's Jacob's desk. Wait, Jacob, like... He has a desk here? Does he live here or something? You can live here, there's no bed. What the heck? What's our goal in this game? Really, what's the goal here? I, I'm guessing the goal is to get as many balls as we can to form a secondary layer on the balls. 
Though I'm not sure how we're moving them. Do we have some sort of magnet, perhaps? This could be a fun game. You can imagine people sitting around betting on it. At least up to a certain point. I need to know the rules, honestly. I want to leave him how I left him. Out of respect to the next people. You're a good man, Jacob. Well, there's nothing really to do, is there, except finally leave. Yuri the Bard. Enjoy an evening of song, drink, and merrymaking. I've heard his music is legendary. If only he were coming a week earlier. All of East Shade, huh? Is there a West Shade? North Shade? Anyway, that's always how it is, isn't it? When you leave, you're leaving like just before when there's something's gonna happen. Okay. Ah, uh, we. The whole world's ahead of us. I mean, we have a lot of memories here, but there, there's a life ahead of us, man. It's almost time. Construction, huh? Just like our lives are under construction. Lindau construction has come a long way in the last few weeks. Yeah, after the flood. Who are you? Crew? Hi. You from Nava? Did you go to the academy? What gives it away? That awesome uniform. No one around here has clothes like that. A lot of my friends moved to Nava after the mudslide. My dad says Lindau's port's safer though, so we're staying. Town's recovering quickly. Yeah, it's not really recovering, though. It's just starting over in a different place. Our stinky old town was over that hill. But now it's in the river. Anyway, this new town will be way cooler. But still probably not as cool as Nava. Aw, don't shoot yourself in the foot like that, my friend. Though maybe you're right. Nava sounds like it's one of those trendy college towns. I'm glad to see the construction moving along, though. I wouldn't want my hometown to, you know, not stand. And, oh, this building's finished, it looks like. Probably can't go inside, though, huh? Look at the exquisite work on the metal. You don't make that easily. I wish our modern Earth architecture could sometimes try and take those kinds of really human flourishes into account. There's no reason that our buildings should look like those bricks, but many times larger. Why not have a gargoyle to spruce things up? Oh, Clara. Oh, it's Mom! Oh, Clara, it's finally time. When you were little, we thought you'd never leave home. You were so happy to stay in bed all day drawing, playing with your toys, listening to stories. A few years later, everything changed. We could hardly get you to stay still for a few minutes. All of life was exciting for you. Every speck of dirt and puddle of water was like a universe filled with unexplored wonders. Really? That was when I knew there was no way you were going to be able to stay home and resist the mysteries of the world. And look at you now. You can't believe how proud and excited I am for you. I'm not worried I'll die, so she shouldn't be, but will you be okay without me? I mean, I know she is. We'll be just fine. Aside from missing you every day, I'm more worried about what you'll do without me around to hassle you into good health. Are you worried I'll die? Clara, whether we live our lives or avoid them, our time still comes. I'm going to miss you and worry about you, but I'm not going to wish that you stayed here because you were scared of a little risk. Thank you for everything, Mom. You deserve it all, Clara. Aww. Oh. I mean, I guess... I guess I worked hard for it, you know. Everyone's so nice to me. Honestly, I feel like it's too nice. What did I warrant to deserve all of this? Are you a captain? <sighs> he must shot him. These worthless explorers, they can't do anything right. Um... Yeah, who are you? I'm not gonna ask that, that's rude, but who are you? I'm the lead architect here. 
designer of these marvels, and supervisor of their construction. This entire operation would fall apart without me. Who are you supposed to be anyway? I'm set for deployment with the Expedition Guild. Ah, I never would have guessed. Your trunk's so shabby that I'd have taken you for a vagabond. It's a shame how far the Guild's standards have fallen. Anyhow, I won't be distracted by you any longer. Another moment without my supervision and these imbeciles will butcher my designs. Nice guy. He's like the opposite of Mum. I feel like talking to him last is almost a bad omen. Goodbye, Lindau. You know, just for now, though. Marshall. Oh god, the eyes. You must be junior researcher Clara. I'm Captain Greta of the ES Intrepid. We've heard great things about you from the Academy. I look forward to having you aboard. Are you ready to leave Lindau? No. You'd best prepare yourself. We'll be boarding shortly. The bell will sound soon. Just one more thing, Captain. I just want to climb up here and get one last view. What are these rocks? Are they like combustible rocks, I guess? What the? What do you do? Oh, he's playing a little game, aren't you, kid? You can play two if you want. How does it work? You just throw the ball at that ball? I'll try one more round. For good luck. I'm just gonna say two is a lucky number here, because maybe it is. Damn it! Okay, one more one more try. Ow! That doesn't count. It's too close. Okay, I admit you're probably right. I think I need to be outside the circle, right? How about this, kid? I have bad aim. Ah, whatever. I don't need to hit it. Just a little game anyway. See you around, kid. That's the ship, huh? Gonna live a lot of my life on that. Or not that much of my life. We're gonna stop in ports and stuff. Oh no! Don't want to be late. I guess I'm already a little bit late, huh? Alright. Food we're gonna bring, huh? Apples seem to be a common thing here. Guess I might as well put on the credits. There you go. That was leaving Lindau, which I believe is somehow a preview of an upcoming larger game called East Shade, um, or at least it's connected to it, that uh, this team's working on. So who knows? Maybe that'll be up by the time, or maybe it'll be out by the time this video is up. As for what I think of this, it's fine. Some of the graphics are very pretty. Honestly, a story... Yeah... It just sorta... It's bittersweet, but it a kind of... I don't know, it, it doesn't feel quite natural to me. It feels like something's missing here, like... I don't know. I, anyway, it's just fundamentally a story about the young person casting off into the world to try and achieve something and acknowledging the risks that come with it. And the sort of mixed emotions we have about really sort of growing up and leaving home, but finally taking a very positive, idealistic view of it. But it just seems sort of artificially positive to me. Um, 
kind of like that one... A long time ago, I played a game that was like a... Journal! That's what it was called. And that didn't quite feel authentic either. It, uh... This strikes me... It reminds me of that kind of feeling, but not as bad. Uh, anyway... But yeah, very pretty. Like, look at this image. It's very pretty. And I do like peaceful but not hot coastal places and tea. Anyway, you should go keep an eye out for East Shade if this is of any interest to you. You being, if anyone even watches this, um...